somebody was viewing a metal sculpture that I'd done of a large pear, uh, they said, um, golly gosh, that must have come off a hell of a big tree. Uh, well, that sowed the seed of an idea, and within a few months it had germinated into this preliminary sculpture of the tree. It was the bravery of Anthony Gormley's uh, introduction of his sculpture by the motorway uh, that inspired me to go for it. This uh, construction is going to be 21 metres high, which uh, in fact is going to be a metre higher than the Angel of the North. It's going to weigh in the region of 230 tonnes, though at this juncture, until the engineers, uh, the structural engineers, have done all their final analysis, uh, we won't know what the final cost is going to be or what the final weight is going to be. When you're travelling around a figure, when you form shadows from the light on that figure, that figure can move or it can stand static. The object with this one is that when people are driving past in their cars, the shadows will be altering as the sun moves round and the vehicles move along the road, and this will give a life and movement to the sculpture. One idea was to have a walkway up, with, up the inside with a viewing platform. Another idea that uh, we will definitely be pushing forward is a placing of a camera that will view from the top on a 360 degree uh, span uh, to be then published onto the website for people around the world who want to look to see what it looks like across the Worcestershire countryside. The pear tree has been conceived also for the purposes of reflecting uh, both the industrial north uh, of the county and, and its rural south. This will hopefully represent Worcestershire to the people travelling through Worcester up and down the motorway and the people living in Worcester. Colleges and universities have been donating their time and expertise in the development of some of the graphic work in the development of the website that is now open. We're looking at present and putting together uh, a, a competition to be held within the schools of the county uh, where the primary schools will be contributing a panel that has been designed collectively by the students depicting what Worcestershire means to them. Uh, there's going to be a promenade area built around the base of the tree and the railings around this promenade area will have the cast panels representing what the students had drawn and created at their individual schools. This is a wonderful focal point and the children in years to come will be able to go and reflect on it when visiting the sculpture.